Welcome back everyone. In this lesson we are going to be working on our camera controller script which is going to allow us to both move the camera left, right, forward and back as well as zooming in and out so we can get a good view of our game scene and be able to navigate around. The camera is also going to have the ability to focus on a certain position. Uh, so at the start of the game we're going to be focusing on our unit spawn area so that the camera can uh, easily show the player where our units are spawning. And later on, if you want to implement stuff such as uh, pressing a button to move to an idle uh, unit, then this is also going to allow that. So first of all, we need to change our setup of our main camera right now. If we go on the scene view here, you'll see that the main camera, uh, it is just by itself. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to put this main camera inside of a container. And that is going to allow us to easily move around and figure out the center point down here. To figure out what is at the center of the camera. Uh, because if we don't, trying to center this camera on a certain point, we'll have to do some uh, trigonometry. And yeah, it can get a bit confusing, so we'll just keep it like this. So what we need to do is, first of all, get our camera here. And we need to place it inside of an empty object. So I'm going to create a new empty game object here. I'm going to call it our camera. I'm going to set it to 0, 0, 0, and now we just need to set this the camera here, oh, drag this in as a child, and we need to set the main camera here to a position where we want the center of the map to be in the center of the screen. So I'm going to set the Y position here to 20, Z to negative 17, and the rotation on the X axis to 50. So there we go, it looks like we're pretty much aiming in the center there, which is good. Uh, a field of view at 40, which is also good. And now what we can do is on our main camera object right here, let's create a new script inside of the scripts folder. And I'm going to be calling this one our camera controller. We can then select our camera object that we just created here. And I'm going to drag on the camera controller script. And now let's open it up inside of Visual Studio to begin scripting. Okay, here we are. Uh, first up, I'm just going to remove the start and update function just to get it a bit clean here when we enter in our variables. And first up for our variables, we need to know the move speed. Uh, this is going to be how fast are we going to be moving the camera around with our arrow keys. Then we also need to know a zoom speed. So how fast are we going to be zooming in and out? So zoom speed here. And then we also need to know what is the minimum distance we can zoom in and the max distance we can zoom out because we don't want to be zooming through the terrain or really far out. So I'll go public float min zoom dist and another public float for the max zoom dist. What else we need is going to be the camera because when we are zooming the camera, we're going to be moving it based on its forward direction. Yet when we're moving the camera, we're going to be moving this parent object around. So here I'll just go private camera cam and there we go. Now what we can do is inside of the awake function, I'm going to just go cam equals camera dot main to get the camera easily like that. And now what we can do is create our two functions, the move function and the zoom function. And these are going to be called every frame inside of update. So I'm just going to go void move and then void zoom and then inside oops and then inside of the update function up here we are going to be calling the move and the zoom functions every frame okay so let's begin with the move function this is going to take in two inputs it's going to take in the keyboard horizontal and vertical axes which are bound uh, to your arrow keys and your WASD keys Horizontal is A and D, or left arrow and right arrow, and vertical is W and S, or up arrow and down arrow. And this is a range between negative 1 uh, and 1, with 0 being the default, which means nothing is being pressed. So let's get our X input first. So float X input equals input dot get axis horizontal. And then for the Z input, which is going to be our forward and back, we're going to get our input get axis vertical okay so we've got our inputs now what we need to do is basically move the camera based on these and the way we're going to do that is by just moving this parent camera object in the forward and left and right direction so what we can do with that is create a vector 3 called dir 
and this here is going to be equal to our uh, transform dot forward multiplied by z input plus our transform dot right multiplied by the x input. So this is going to get us a direction to move at. Uh, if we're not pressing anything, then this is just going to be a empty vector. So then what we can do is add this on top of our transform position. So transform dot position plus equals direction multiplied by our move speed. And then we need to multiply it by time dot delta time because we don't want to move uh, move speed every single frame. We want to move it every single second. So time dot delta time will convert this down to a second range uh, and make it so that it is frame rate independent. It doesn't depend on a certain frame rate. Okay, so let's actually go test this out right now. I'm going to go into Unity. Uh, for our camera controller right here, I'm going to set the move speed to 15, zoom speed to 25, uh, min zoom disk to 10, and max zoom disk to 50. These are just the values that I found that were pretty good. You can press play. And as you can see here, we can use WASD to move our camera around like so. Uh, and then we're going to be working on the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel is going to be zooming us in and out, so let's go do that now. So what we can do, down in zoom here, is we need to first of all get the scroll input from the scroll wheel. And to get that, we can just go float scroll input equals input dot get axis. And we want to get the mouse scroll wheel, so mouse scroll wheel. And like with the uh, other inputs, this is going to be a range between negative 1 for scrolling down and 1 for scrolling up. And with this then, we also need to calculate a distance between the camera and the center point, between the parent object, because the camera is going to be calculating pretty much how far it can zoom in and out based on that distance. So float dist equals vector 3 dot distance between us, so transform dot position, this parent object that is currently in the center of the screen at 0, 0, 0, and the cam dot transform dot position, which is up in the air. Then what we need to do is check, okay, if this distance is less than the uh, move dis uh, the minimum distance, and we are trying to scroll up, then we cannot zoom in anymore, so return. So if dist is less than min zoom dist, and the scroll input is greater than zero, then return because we can no longer zoom in because we've already hit the max, so don't bother trying to affect the zoom anymore. Otherwise, so else if our dist is greater than the max zoom distance, and we have our scroll input trying to scroll down, so we're trying to scroll out, um, then we also want to return because we don't want to be able to zoom out when we're at uh, this distance either. So finally, if we're within the range of the min and max zoom, then we can affect the camera position by just going cam.transform.position plus equals cam.transform.forward multiplied by the scroll input multiplied by zoom speed. There we go. Okay, so we've got that all set up now. Um, let's also add in the function to focus on a position, uh, which is only one line of code. So we'll go public void focus on position it will require a vector 3 for the pause and all we're doing here is just going to go transform.position equals pause okay so let's test out our zoom function right now we're pretty much moving along the camera's forward direction which is the blue axis, the z axis uh, the lo to local to the camera, whichever is pointing in the direction that the object is looking at so we're going to be moving along that axis based on our scroll input and then multiplied by our zoom speed so we can affect how fast this zoom is so back in our Unity right now, let's press play and test it out. So we can move around like before, we can then zoom out with scroll, and as you can see, I'm at the max zoom distance, I can't scroll out anymore. Then we can zoom in, and I'm at the max zoom in distance, the min distance, so I can't scroll in anymore. And yeah, that's basically the camera controller set up and ready to go. Uh, when we do have unit spawning set up, um, whenever we click on spawn a unit will have the camera focus on that position and it will also focus on that at the start so we don't have to manually move the camera around when testing the game. That is the camera controller script set up and ready to go. In the next lesson we're going to be working on setting up our player, uh, give them the ability to gather resources and use those resources. So I'll see you all then.